Hi all! Welcome to our video review series. Um, I'm show studio fashion editor Georgie Evans and I'm going to be talking to you today about Erdem Spring Summer 20. Um, Erdem shows are always a sight to behold. They always have a fantastic location. They're always fantastically romantic and the devil is very much in the detail with an Erdem show. And uh, today was no different. We were in, let me get the address for you, Grey's Inn Walks Gardens, which was an um, outdoor show. They put Sound of Bird song everywhere. It was fantastically relaxing um, and wonderfully beautiful. Um, as of late, we've been getting these really gorgeous invitations. Um, and this is, um, what's her name? Tony, um, no, Tina, Tina Madotti, who is a photographer um, from the 40s. She was born, Italian born, but grew up in, well, not grew up in, um, emigrated to Mexico where she became an amazing photographer and also um, a communist um, fighter. She actually did a bit of secret agent work in Russia for the Communist Party. Um, so she's an incredible, incredible behemoth of a woman. Her photography is really, really beautiful. I'm going to show you some um, here. We, uh, also, Erdem always gives you the most wonderful little book to take home um, with references. So let me see if I can show you. You can just see really wonderful um, and this is a little bit of a clue as to what we were seeing so for the most part the collection was really effeminate dramatic um, floor length looks um, but peppered amongst those um, were looks that, that seeming to hark a slightly more military feel harked to this time um, in Tina's life and um, when she was slightly more um, military uh, military based I would say um, but you can see there's just so much emotion in her photography just really beautiful um, and so and um, there we go nice wall in Mexico as well um, so a really really beautiful collection looking at and um, the power that Tina had and the brilliance um, and but also the softness so this um, this constant duality which actually we've been having quite a lot throughout the collections of super feminine um, well, tro stereotypical tropes of femininity, so florals and bright coloured pinks um, and oranges, um, which was also a um, big signifier of Mexican style, particularly in the 40s, um, and lots of flowers, etc. but with this real powerful element to it, so um, slight military workwear, and likewise flip reversed, so any, any of the khaki um, trousers tailoring or um, jackets that seem to hark up that look I showed earlier we had um, broderie anglaise um, holing throughout or a little bow on the sleeve or a wonderful flat I believe it's a boater hat boater hat um, as well adding with a nice ribbon around the face in a really decorative um, print almost handkerchief print um, again so it's that balance of um, yes she was an incredible fighter, um, but also with this wonderfully soft um, element to it. So the dresses, for the most part, for the most part, were hugely cascading to the floor. Beautiful ruffles, and as I say, lots of broderie on glaze. Um, so much so that you couldn't really tell where an item started or finished and another began, which I love in a look. I think that's brilliant, and I think also that's partly down to styling by Ib Kamara because he is, quite frankly, a genius. Um, and he styled this show. Um, so beautiful hats with a real flat, sharp line. And during that finale as well, just seeing those hats bob up and down with different bright colours that make you think of Mexico to the point where you could, you feel like you can almost smell it, like you're transported um, and you can hear the sounds. It's, it was just so beautiful. Um, so those looks, as I say, with the silhouette that just trapes like this, beautiful pooling um, on some looks as well with that broderie on glace and um, printing and you couldn't quite tell whether it finished here and that was a skirt with lots of ruffles or whether it was a layer or all one beautiful dress and um, some fantastic leg of mutton sleeves which add to that 40s like period tone um, that Erdem's going for um, with beautiful bows and accents of bows everywhere so bows in braided hair, bows around the neck wonderful um, bow ties as well which just adds this 40s Mexicana element to it um, beautiful sandals as well although some of them looked a little bit um, off kilter and uncomfortable at times um, it was just so romantic and you're really falling in love with this with this woman um, who has um, passed away obviously but um, you're just falling in love with the narrative and the memory that she's left and this amazing life that she had um, being a photographer, traveling, supporting people, but then also being such a strong communist um, supporter and fighter. And there's some really beautiful lines in the press release I'm just gonna find for us. 
da, 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 da. she dressed to become who she felt she was meant to be it wasn't as film star photographer and political agent she bore her soul in her own image her story is not about fashion but about the power of dressing as an art form of self-expression to communicate something far deeper she dressed to become who she felt she was meant to be and just that's so beautiful and romantic and lovely and when you're seeing these full wonderful um maximalist looks it just grabs you and it might not be dressing um dressing to show dressing to and um, be overly flamboyant it's just dressing to show your personality or show who you want to be and i just think that this was such a beautiful collection really I, i'd love to see some of the items up close there's some fantastic diamante drip ear, earrings as well um and it just had a regality to it as well um not in the um grandeur of it although it was grand but in this in this power the way the models walked the casting as well was really beautiful the way the models walked down this gravel path in the garden and just kind of so arresting and that might have been the bright colours and the clashing prints and the and the grand silhouettes, but actually, um, I think it was the presence and the power that was in this whole package, from the styling to the clothes to the casting to the setting, everything. I was um, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this collection. I think it was just beautiful. I really, really hope we see um, some of these looks on red carpets, etc., because it really does lend itself um, to them. They were just really stunning. Um, I'm very, also very excited to see how this trickles down into a commercial level because. Um, they were they were very very striking looks. Some of the tailoring I expect is going to be um, snapped up commercially, um, but I am excited to see how some of those dresses are rendered um, for the stores. Um, but nonetheless, a beautiful beautiful collection, and I urge you to go and um, look up Tina Madotti. She is um, a force to be reckoned with. So really pleased that Erdem chose her. Um, I'll see you guys very soon. That's my Erdem review for you. Uh, like, comment, subscribe below. Let me know if you agree or um, what you think. Are you a fan of Tina's? Um, and make sure to visit Show Studio so you can see all the wonderful Erdem content we have, including runway images, alongside this review. I'll see you soon.